Hey guys, Frostbell here with my first ever tutorial. Today I'll be showing a technique used to create realistic shadows within After Effects. I'll be using Element 3D but this can be applied to any 3D layers. Let's take a look at what we will be creating. First thing first, you'll need a script called Element Elementary. Alright, now in After Effects, we'll start off by creating a new composition. I'll be using a 1280x720p. I'll rename this one as Main Comp. I'll now draw my uh, clip. Dropping the timeline. First thing we're going to do is create a 3D camera. Right click, drag camera, and under the advanced settings, we're going to turn on detailed analysis and under solve method we're gonna choose mostly flat scene this may take a while alright now that After Effects is done analyzing our footage we're gonna create a new solid and 3D camera all you need to do is click and drag where you want your object right click select create solid and camera Now we're going to rename uh, our solid to floor and we're going to bring up the scale all the way up the next step is to create our 3D object now under the layer we're going to select solid And in effects, we're going to select element, scene setup, and I'll be using the ball fracture for this one. And now under the particle replicator, I'm going to change the position of the ball. Now under particle look, I'll enable multi-object and I'll change the displacement. I'll use 7 for both. And to get a more organic feel, I'll change the rotation random. Click the time watch. And insert another keyframe. Change this one to 400. Okay. The next step is to create a new light. Make sure this one is a spotlight. To make it easier, I'll transfer the uh, rotation and position data from our 3D floor to our light. All you need to do is select the pick width and parent it to the floor but before releasing it press the shift button and I'll select none. Now I'll change our position of our light. Okay. 
all right the next step is to bring up our script under the window we're going to select elementary now select the light and the 3d object and click shadow press ok now you see we created a shadow I'm just going to move the rotation of the light a little now the trick is to go on the floor material option and change the accept shadows from on to only and now on the light light options I'll change the uh, shadow darkness to 50 60 Now the effect is uh, essentially done. Alright, what we can do now is add some optical flares, color correction, and even some depth of field. First of all, I'm going to go under the 3D object, render settings, and enable the uh, ABIN inclusion. I'll uh, change the intensity to 3. I'll even have some lightning. Now in the layer, choose a new adjustment layer. Fix. The corrections. It's like curves. I'll just, in the RPG channel, I'll just do a simple layer. Uh, S curve. Also, like the blue, let's say we pull it down a little. I'll also add some uh, photo filter. It's like the cooling filter. Now the U saturation, I'll bring the saturation down a little. And finally, I'll add some star there. I'll bring this one all the way up to 75. Change the opacity to around 50. You can also change the color. This one, for example, rename this one to CC. Now, add a new uh, adjustment layer for the first. Now, change the uh, layer from normal to add now the, the option is going to change the flare now you can change the source type from 2D, 3D and Put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it all the way back enough. The brightness to 200. If 
to the depth of field go to select the camera and the camera option turn from off to on we change the focus distance to around 300 and the aperture to 10 I'll increase the uh, focus distance Good. and what we can also do is add a new adjustment layer X and add a camera lens view just kind of add a mask Take the square, simply drag it over the clip. And change the feather to around uh, 250 or 300. And change the uh, blur radius from 5 to 3. And that's pretty much it.